There's no doubt about it that Costco has taken the precious metals community and retail market by storm, and there's no sign of it letting up. In this video, we're going to finally reveal the motive behind this activity by Costco, and we're going to discuss that and so much more as we explore. It's amazing to see uh, how this has really taken off and how popular it has become to uh, buy gold bars and silver coins from Costco. In fact, it started out with this gold bar that you see here. This is the Pam Suisse gold bar, one ounce gold bar. And when these deals started coming out from Costco, and that's exactly what it was, people just flocked to it. Uh, because it was an amazing thing to be able to get a gold bar for right around spot price. Of course, now those deals aren't as uh, as profound unless you utilize the Costco membership rewards as well as a credit card and your points, and then you can get them for very close to spot or very little over spot. And of course, back when you could get them right at spot, and you could do the same thing and get it for under spot. So that is kind of what has kind of launched this. But uh, what has happened uh, since then is it's become more popular. We started to see Costco carry silver eagles and silver Canadian maple leaves as well as Britannia's. And then gold, gold coins as well too, mainly the gold buffalo. I have not seen the Britannia on there yet, but that's another example of gold that could be sold over a Costco. Now, what is so exciting about this is, well, the deals that can be had, uh, but there's a motive behind it. But before I get into that motive, uh, we have to also have an understanding as to why this is occurring and why it's raising such, so, such excitement in the precious metals community. And I think in part it's because the mainstream media have covered this topic more so than any other kind of a retail uh, attachment to precious metals that we've seen from other companies, big companies, bigger companies than Costco. That's right, I reported back in 2017 how Walmart was selling gold and silver, precious metals of all sorts through Walmart. However, it's a very different situation there. And I think that's part of the reason why it hasn't really connected with the mainstream media. But indeed, probably the best selection you're gonna find from the major retailers outside of maybe Amazon will be Walmart. They have partnerships with uh, with other with actual precious metal companies like Atmex and I think Bullion Exchanges now and I think that is the precipice behind it. So in reality you're not getting any better of a deal than you would if you buy directly from the precious metal company. Whereas through Costco you can use your credit card and you can save by using points and get it for a very low price above spot for most p cases. But of course, we have seen time and time again when Costco does list these products that there are deals to be had at some time, but not all the time. In fact, now those deals aren't as quite as readily available as they were when this first started. But indeed, it excited the community and there's a lot of videos on YouTube about them and uh, mine included. But uh, through all of this, we have to wonder, well, why did they do this? What was their reasoning? Well, I'm going to reveal that in this piece here from MSN that talks about what's going on here with Costco and gold and silver. They do remain as top sellers, and they continue to show strong sales for Costco. And the company has estimated that they sell about $200 million worth of gold and silver per month. I've reported on that before as well. Gold bars and silver coins had another quarter of strong sales for Costco. And while the company didn't break out the exact sales figures for the products in its third quarter earnings, uh, it did say that the category was a top seller online, uh, as well as appliances, gift cards, and e-tickets. So gold and silver continue to be a seller and they continue to be quite happy with that. I reported on this channel, uh, of how they are have bought out two months worth of supply of silver eagles 
So likely you're going to see more of these pop up soon, if not already, where you can see them on, on their website and you can buy them there. Uh, so it's, it's remarkable. They've stockpiled a, a fair amount of silver and uh, they're selling it as well as continual selling gold bars. And they're probably less likely to sell out, sell out of the silver. You can only buy them by the tube. I mean, Costco is a wholesale bulk company. So other than the one ounce gold bars with a limit, uh, you can buy the tubes of silver. So it's pretty intriguing that their selection is widening a bit and that they're offering this to uh, buyers. Analysts estimate that the company sells around $200 million worth of gold and silver coins each month. And former CFO Richard Galante has said the supply usually sells out within hours. In fact, there's been plenty of times where I've logged in and I've not been able to see anything for sale around my area. It just depends on where you're located as to whether you're going to see uh, the deals or not or see them for sale or not. Uh, a big part of their appeal for professional and amateur collectors alike, well, and stackers, as anyone know the term, is the fact that the bars and coins are sold at a very low markup uh, above the metal spot price. Silver coins from the United States Mint, however, do fetch a slight premium since they are uh, tax advantages to those, which means that Costco is still has to pay what the U.S. Mint's premiums are on them, and they have to also uh, get, a, uh, get a premium from the wholesalers, in other words, the authorized purchasers. And there's about 18 or so of those, and more than likely they're getting them either from Atmex um, and or um, Amark Precious Metals or both. And maybe even Dylan Gage, who knows. But all of those organizations together, um, and, and, and then that leaves what little Silver Eagles are left from those organizations that are sold or selling for a higher premium. That's what we saw. That's what we saw. Of course, by now, that was a long time ago, they very well may be restocking those from the bullion dealers and able to get it. And Costco may have to wait, but we'll see. Now, this is pretty exciting to see, but even though Costco's profit on the gold and silver coins is comparatively low, which is understandable for the low price, there's another motive behind this. These high value items are kind of a cheat code for the wholesale club that is still trying to, to develop its e-commerce business. So there you have it. There's your motivating factor and it is working so far. You know, it, it makes you wonder, marketing 101, uh, set the buzz and then it can be organic. In fact, I very well may have helped them with some of my videos on Costco and other channels too. Uh, it makes big news. I think anytime gold and silver are mentioned in the major news, it's a good thing. Of course, it gets repeated on channels like this. But now we know it can give them e-commerce business, or routing hundreds of millions of dollars in sales through Costco.com is a quick way for the company to show strong e-commerce growth with relatively low risk or complicated capital investment. They simply buy a batch of gold and sell every ounce of it to its members. And when you think about that, there are no returns on precious metal products bought through Costco. So they can just buy it, sell it, dump it. No returns. They have no other commitment to the, to the, uh, to the buyer after they sell it to them. It is what it is. They sell it. You're stuck with it. You can't sell it back to, to, uh, to Costco. And in a previous video, I talked about the motivation for some of the buyers for these is that hopes that they can turn it around for a quick buck. Of course, they realize that when you look at the premium and look at what local coin shops are going to buy it back for, well, you're not doing very well. You're not, you're not, you're not going to make it out, especially with the fluctuating spot price. Uh, some people had a rude awakening in that area. But of course, others, they buy the metals and they say, well, you've got a good deal. You use the rewards <clears throat> um, that Costco gives is for a prime, a premium members. And then you have the rewards in your credit card and you do quite well. And so that is a motivating factor. Now the strategy is paying off. Digital sales for the quarter were up 20.7% over the same period last year, which is before Costco's gold went viral and viral it did. And since the gold and silver are member exclusives, the buzz around the metal was another way to attract new signups. After all, what is a $60 membership fee on a $4,000 shopping cart of gold bullion? True that. Of course, 
It just depends on when the gold is bought. But I, I tell you what, if that uh, four thousand dollar shopping cart is with the gold sitting at two thousand dollars, that's quite a bargain. You're getting it for near spot and with a limit of two. Uh, was what, where it was before. Of course, again, you know, consult your own Costco, see if it's there, but um, it's an easy way for them to make, to uh, get the buzz and get the word out there. And while you're a member, hey, you might as well pick up some toilet paper while you're at it, right? What else does somebody need but toilet paper and gold? And that's exactly what that's about. Pretty amazing. What a, what is something else that now we know kind of the motivating factor behind Costco. And I got to say, that's a pretty brilliant uh, marketing strategy by Costco, I would say, if I don't say so myself. Pretty interesting indeed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.